This conference will now be recorded. Hi, hi everyone. I welcome all of you to the AWS training program. So in our previous class before the weekend, we talked about S3, which is simple storage solution. And we talked about few uh, basic stuff like starting with creation of bucket, uploading the data into the bucket, how to maintain the versioning, what is server side encryption, and uh, along with that, there are different type of storage classes depending upon our requirement, whether we want to uh, access the data frequently or it's like in archive data, can we keep it in the deep archive and it can be retrieved on demand as and when required, something like that. So now we will be moving ahead and we'll be talking few more uh, things on S3. So let's start with the agenda. The agenda is enable public access bucket level policies, static website hosting, cross region replication, and cross account S3 access. So we'll talk about uh, one by one. First of all, enable public access. So if you remember when we were creating our S3 bucket, these settings were part of the configuration. And it is recommended that you should block all the public access in case you are planning to access your data only like programmatically where you will specify some username password or some other type of credential and you will either read the data or write the data but if i talk specifically from a static website hosting point of view in our last class also we were trying to host a static website but somehow uh, it was throwing permission error and as i said like we have to configure few things configure few bucket level policies and permissions in order to host a static website. So we'll talk about all the aspect and all the uh, configuration required for hosting a static website. You can understand like S3 is not a processing uh, processing stuff, first of all, right? That means you cannot expect that S3 will host a dynamic website because dynamic website means uh, the content would be dynamic. It will be interacting with the database. Suppose you are logging into your online banking. So without interacting with database, definitely that application will not work because it needs to know what is your account number, what is your current balance, what are your transactions, and it's live actually. If you are making any transaction right now, it should also reflect on your account and it should also display on the application. So when we say static website, that means there is some static content. Suppose you have some uh, uh, pics of your products, right? Or you are doing some uh, interior designing something and you have different type of plans different type of uh, uh, you can say subscription and different type of discounts and all these things where there is no dynamic content so for that one instead of buying some uh, you can say some domain name or buying some website or uh, hiring some developer and all right you can quickly host static content and we will be doing that today so this is about uh, blocking i mean unblock basically because when we created a bucket that day, we blocked it. But in order to do this static website hosting, you can un uncheck this one and you can save changes. After that, the next is update bucket policy. When you want to access something from your bucket, as we discussed earlier as well, it's like two side access mechanism. Suppose there's an IAM rule. And you are giving access that IAM role can read or write the data from a specific bucket. But you did not ask the bucket whether bucket will allow all these things or not. Just because when IAM role wants to write the data into S3 bucket will not work. Even that S3 bucket should confirm that, okay, I allow this particular user or this particular IAM role to write the data into my bucket. If that is the case, it's like both sides, then only it will work. So we will go to bucket policy. I will show you live as well. In the bucket policy, there is a JSON document as you can see here. So there are few things which are uh, which are part of every policy. Like you can see this version, and after version there is a statement. There is a SID. SID stands for system ID, and it is like a is you can say a unique name. It does not make any difference. You can even give one, two, three, four, something like that. But if you are maintaining multiple statements in the same document, then you have to give a unique 
as id that's the ultimate purpose so you can give something meaningful here we are giving public read get object because we we are doing it for a static website hosting where the people will only read your content nothing there is no requirement of writing something into your bucket so you can see that the effect of this policy is allow principle is star principle is like who can access that if you want to give access to a specific im role then you will specify the arn of that im role if you want to give the access to a specific user then you will give the arn of that user similarly you may be interested to uh, give access to a particular group so you will provide the arn of the group in this case because it's a website and we don't want to restrict it for a im user or a, a group or like that so we are giving star that means anyone can access this website action is s3 colon get object only only getting only reading you can say that we are allowing and then resource so in the resource you can provide the complete arn of the bucket right now i'm giving my bucket name slash star if you want to restrict it on a folder level you can even do that maybe you can specify some folder and then uh, you can give star it will uh, work according uh, according to that as well so this is about a bucket policy and now the next is enable static website hosting neeraj i have a you question know, go back to the slide uh, yeah please go ahead so in this what are the other options for action or resource like is it always like this is this a standard format or what could other options be okay so if you remember that day uh, when we were creating a policy let me show you actually let me open live so there is a option like list what are the action related to listing the things what are the action related to reading the things getting the things putting the things there are many actions and when we were creating a policy in our im class we were creating a role and we were attaching a policy to it so in the policy we have seen like there were so many uh, actions there so i will uh, show you let me open my s3 instead of s3 i will show you im because permissions are part of im im so if you will go to policies you will find a aws managed policy and customer managed policy you can see that all these are aws managed except the first one this one i created a cross account s3 read that is the name but if you will click on that you will find the further details okay so now i will show you the json format okay it's displaying in json format only so you were asking about what are other actions possible right let's have a look so you can see that here sid is something uh, you can give something meaningful and effect is allow action you can see that there are so many s3 colon get object version tagging get object acl and if you will find get bucket website get job tagging multiple region access points so these are different type of action which can be performed get object get object is just like reading the object from your uh, bucket describe job and there can be few more let's see listing list bucket version list buckets list bu get bucket policy and these are only related to uh, get and list because i have given only a uh, read read permission only you can see that cross account s3 read if i want to give write also you can uh, find many uh, many more actions so if you want to uh, see let me quickly show you uh, policies is there right uh, policy so we can click on create a policy if you want to try create policy and then you can select some services from here let's talk about s3 you can see that there are different type of actions if you will expand individual you can see that there are all related to list all related to read all related to write you can see that create bucket create job put uh, bucket course put object there are many actually and we don't need to uh, understand each and everything but the point is there is a very 
information available at very granular level that means you can control at very lower level as well you can decide which permission you want to give and which permission you don't want to give so put object is for basically writing the data into your s3 bucket get object is for reading the uh, it, it would be under read so we talked about get object right uh, get object where is that get object is here like this one so does that answer your question yes thank you okay that's good so let's quickly uh, do our website hosting so we have already created one bucket that day today let's do the website hosting i will go to s3 so whatever website whatever uh, bucket you will use for website hosting you have to allow the public access for that one that's why i don't want to mix my other stuff with my website hosting because tomorrow we may have to do uh, put some data into there and we have to read it from our python code or from ec2 instance and all right so let's keep our website bucket all together separate so let's create a new bucket quickly i will give some name my but not bucket static website okay i'm giving some name reason it will select i mean you can change it but is it is showing for my current location singapore object ownership is fine this will we will definitely remove and we will acknowledge that we understand that we are opening the public access for website hosting point of view bucket version we can enable so that <coughs> tomorrow if you want to update your files <coughs> your static content you can do that default encryption i have disabled but in case you want to enable it you can do that as well and that is fine that's all create bucket bucket with the same name exist okay because these names are like globally unique right so i will give some other name So my bucket is created the next thing we will do is 